up guys at the Justine Dream Team. I do have a tech haul coming for you and whatever I mean huge, it's not clickbait. Like this isn't even all of it. <laughs> and these are really heavy bags, I just stuffed them to the brim. But in case you did not know, yes I got a horse, you can check her out in this video and in this video, she's dope. So this is my new horse tack haul. And I'm gonna say this because everyone else says it, so it must be important. I'm not trying to brag, I did buy all this stuff myself, so if you just work hard, you can do it. And you can also go broke, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Let's just get into it. So I'll just start with all the little necessities and then get into her actual tack and stuff. So, first on the list, I had to get more shampoo, which is the main detail, which I always use because it's just basic and it's cheap because I was out. And then some fly spray because I was out. It's the Piranha brand and I really like it. I know some people that live by it. So that's how I originally started trying it. And I can really notice the difference, especially when I'm out in her pasture and I'll spray it on her legs when she's like getting attacked by these flies. And they will all go away once I spray this on her. So if you haven't tried a brand or you still haven't found one you like, I definitely try Piranha. And then for Christmas, yes, Christmas. It's been that long. <laughs> I prepare way ahead of time. I got these treats from Smart Pack, and I really like them because they're small and breakable and natural. I'm pretty sure they're sugar free. You know, we're just gonna say they're sugar free because that makes me feel better. So these are really nice because you can also use them for training. Goodness gracious, I'm editing this and realize I forgot so many things. So first off, I got a lot of nameplates because they were $2 since these were ones that were pre-made by people and never picked up. So the first one is a unicorn with the heart, because why not? Then the next one says Charlotte, so I had to get that. And the next one says Queen, because boy, you know I had to get that one. And the next one said Horsey Girl, figured that would be like a cute bracelet or something, I don't know. And then there was this one for a halter, which says Holly, which I'm so excited about. And there were two little charms that said Holly. So I got really lucky with those. And then again, from Christmas, got this little balm that I put on her nicks and scratches. And then I got some liniment gel and a lunge line free with my tack order. Okay, back to regular programming. And then I got spurs in black, but this actually came with five different exchangeable tips, which I will probably never use. So the first one's a short squared off one, and then there's another one the same size, but it's rounded off. And then there's another one the same size, but it's flat. And there's a little roller one that's a bit longer, and this really long flat one. I currently don't use a tip on it, because without it, it's like the smallest, and I really only need the smallest. But all of these were like the same price of one regular spur, and I really like that they're plastic. So I just went ahead and got it. And who knows, maybe one of these short ones will come in handy one day. And then when I was in New England, I got da 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 a new saddle pad! It does look really blue on camera, which I noticed when I was riding too, but it is more of like a light aqua, mint greenish. It's like a weird in between of turquoise and mint green. It's like really similar to my wall color, but it's got a little bit more green in it. I really don't know the color of it. But I tried it out on Holly, and that's gonna be like her official color. You know, Charlotte's old one was red, and now Holly's is mint greenish, turquoise ish, aqua ish. Whatever it is, it looks good on her. <laughs> Just yesterday, I got bump it on a lamy cell half pad. Yay! Jazz hands. So I got this one mainly because it was the only one I could afford. I mean, if we're being honest. <laughs> no, but I do really like the material of it. I got this one just for like everyday use. And then I use my Cavalry gel half pad for days that I need impact protection, such as jumping, which you can watch my whole review video of that. Only in the description, plug blah, plug. Blah, blah, because a Cavalry gel half pad has really good impact protection. If you have watched that video, you will know I've tried it out on myself. Could have broken my hand, but I didn't because the technology's good. So then I got this one just for everyday rides because I don't really want to use a gel on her 24-7, so this one's just kind of more stable. And it just alleviates a little bit of pressure on her back since she is skinny right now. So now that all that's out of the way, I'll just start at the bottom of the horse and work my way up, even though I've already done the saddle pads, which is in the middle. But we're gonna go back down for a sec because I'm gonna talk about boots. Oh, voice crack. <laughs> so my friends over at Cavalieri, one of my favorite companies, sent over some closed front boots, which I have tried, I have tested, and I approve. <laughs> I really like them, they're very stylish, very high quality, but I'm very excited about these because I didn't have any closed front ones. So when we go cross country, these will be very protective on her legs, and they just look really nice. Cavalieri so kindly also sent over a little gift of polo wraps. So they're just regular fleece polo wraps, 
but of course they're very high quality because you could expect nothing less of Cavalieri. Although I don't use polo wraps, so even though I thank them so much for being so kind and sending over these, if you are looking for polo wraps, I definitely recommend Cavalieri. The link for them will also be in the description. But they came in this really cute little purse thing. It's just a carrying bag, but you know, I call it a purse. So I ordered this next thing online, which I didn't know was coming from overseas, but it did. And that is a stud guard girth. Now I got her a stud guard one because she over jumps and talks a lot, like to the extreme. So I figured this would be nice just for protective measures. But whenever I tried it on her, it was really big, like way too big. This part is like huge. <laughs> and so it just wasn't fitting her right and it was like touching her legs. So that didn't work and I'm gonna have to send that back overseas, which is gonna be a hassle. <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty. So then after that failed, I went to my local tax store because I still needed a girth. So we just got this regular professional choice one. They're really popular. It's what I was borrowing for Holly whenever I didn't have one. And they just feel like they would be really cool temperature wise. They're very padded. I don't know. I just like them. But after I went to my local tax store, I went to a Dover and I found this one. So this is also a professional's choice one, but it's much nicer in my opinion. And it's contoured and has this little buckle thing that I like. Makes life a lot easier. So yeah, I've always thought that these were very basic and I just like my things to look nice even though I can't afford things that look nice. I have to go like to the dark web and find things. Surprisingly enough, it was only like $10 more than this one. And so when I found this one at Dover, I was very, very happy about it. So then this next thing was also from the same order of the overseas and it is a breastplate with a Roni Martingale attachment. Her saddle doesn't slip or anything so that's not why I needed a breastplate. Pretty much it was just a choice of either having the strap or not having the strap. So I just said, let's have the strap just to make sure it stays in place 100% with her tiny little shoulders. But this part was way too big for her. Like when I say too big, like I mean way too big. It doesn't even look that big. But I also got the running martingale at a time when I thought she needed it. But now it seems like she doesn't need it. So even though it's going to be a hassle sending it back overseas, it's going to save me a little bit of money. So yeah, that was a flop. And then from that same order, gosh, not only did these things break my bank, but they broke my heart. Because guess what? This didn't fit either. So while I was ordering things from this website, why not go ahead and order figure eight bridal because it's cheap and it's good quality and I'll just try it on her. It'll just save me a little bit of time and money to order it with these things. But the nose band didn't go up far enough because she has a tiny face. But everything else on this bridal fit her, so it's not like I could just go down a size to make it fit. Cause then everything else wouldn't fit. So yeah, that was also a flop. And also, can I just like, say something real quick? They sell separate nose band attachments for like, just figure eight, or just regular nose bands. But those nose bands are darn expensive for not good quality ones at all. Like it was cheaper to order this good quality, full bridal, than it was just to get a cheap little nose band that wouldn't match my regular bridal. So yeah, that's why I got it. <laughs> but wait, what regular bridal? So this is Holly's other bridal, which is her only one now because the figure eight didn't fit. But we're gonna get past that, it's okay guys. <laughs> so this is a Black Oak Hunter bridal. This was actually the brand I got for Charlotte's old show bridal and I fell in love with it. I loved it so much. It was such good quality, so nice. And the padding was amazing. So I was very excited for the fact that I could get this for little Holly and use it every single day, not just like once a month when I show. That's the last thing. Did I go through that too fast? <laughs> Watch when I edit it, it's like 10 minutes long. Sorry guys. <laughs> So I guess that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I love watching tack hauls. That's why I did one. I find them so fun and interesting and I think you can find like different products that you didn't know about or opinions about them. At least that's what I do. I hope you enjoyed and without further ado, thank you for watching. Join me next time. Go out there and dream, believe, achieve. Bye. Goodbye. A big kiss for you. Oh, I am just messing it up. Story of my life. <laughs> I don't know, they're just, ow. At my local, t ow, my dumb. What I was borrowing for, sh for, sh for Charlotte, no, Holly. <laughs> am I having withdrawals? So they're just regular freeze, free freeze. So they're just le regular. So while I was,